Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry at Mowers and Blow. How you guys doing? So, just an update on what's going on. Um, I'm going to be going to drive to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, up in Butler, Pennsylvania, where my son's team actually made the World Series, Division II Club Baseball World Series. That's something that you never think could happen, but in somebody's lifetime to make a college World Series is something to be said. Thanks to some of you who doma donated money to help him get his team to the uh, regional playoffs in Utah. I thank you very much. Uh, I feel like you guys are part of the family, you know? And uh, without your help, I don't think they would have made it over there, you know? Anyway, so they won all three games over there, and they're gonna go play uh, the Penn State, Fordham, some other teams. I think it's uh, eight teams or something like that for the World Series, and uh, hopefully they'll make it far. Uh, so the wife and I are driving seven hours to Pittsburgh to go and watch his game. I said to myself I would never wear a University of Washington hat, but because of the World Series, I had to go buy one. <laughs> I'm usually an Oklahoma Sooners guy, you know what I mean? But uh, anyway, some guy wants to buy the triple bagger system for his Husqvarna. He knows it won't fit, but he's willing to go and fabricate stuff to make it fit. So. While my plan was to fix the deck and so that the bagger system would work on it, the deck is just such Swiss cheese that it wouldn't be right to sell it that way, you know what I mean? Uh, so if I sell the bagger system for 150 bucks, that's some money, right? Uh, and then I'll just sell the Murray as a hauler and give them the Swiss cheese deck if they choose to use it, you know? Uh, also, I'm still going to keep that carcass around for a little while longer before I strip it down because some nut may want to buy it complete and whole. If not, take some parts off of it, junk the rest. Also, I listed the golf cart for sale. I listed it for $1,200 locally. Whatever, we'll see what happens, right? I already got a couple of bites. I know that subscriber Chuck wanted to buy it, but he hasn't contacted me in a week. So you know how that goes. I'm not gonna wait around, right? Chuck, if you're watching, and I know you are, darling, I'm listing this because you're not coming to get it. Let me know. Uh, so a guy offered me 700 for it locally. I told him all the issues with it and all that. He's still willing to come and look at it. So we'll see what happens with that. Here's the deck that I have welded and patched up in the past couple of days. Uh, I did it not so much that I would be able to fix it because believe me, this is beyond fixing, you know? I guess if I put another day into it, it might be pretty good, you know? But uh, I did all the practicing that I wanted with my welder and uh, it sure was fun. I mean, it looks terrible, but I mean, it'll work, you know? I just need some black paint, which I don't have, you know? Uh, I guess I should just mosey on over somewhere to go get some. But anyway, I'm gonna show you something else. I actually had to mow my lawn again because the seed that I had put down is so good that I don't remember my lawn ever being so puffy. So I did a diagonal cut, but it was so high and I even lifted the height on the adjusters for this push mower, our self-propelled mower, so that it would uh, not cut so much, but still a lot of stuff in between the lines, as you can see some dead grass and stuff. Uh, so I'm gonna go over the parts that have the excess uh, grass and actually catch it with a bagger for a change, you know, because I can't have that stuff clumping up like that, you know? But the lawn's looking good, that, that seed, I had doubts, but that seed's some good seed, the three-in-one Scots. Anyway, yesterday, uh, my buddy Jason, Pate's Performance, gave me a text message and he had a picture of all kinds of crap that he threw out on the curb. And I was looking at the stuff that he was throwing out. I'm going, you throwing that stuff away? He's like, yeah, whatever, I don't want it. So I went over there, we shot the shit for a couple of hours, you know, I picked up what I wanted, left the rest, and uh, some guys came and took the rest. But uh, I'm, I left it in the van overnight. I'm gonna unload it right now. I'm gonna show you exactly what I got from my buddy, Jason.
So here we go. Uh, we picked up a Toro CCR 2450 RTEC engine. I always get cracked up when I read this. Guaranteed to start. <laughs> what are you crazy? How can you guarantee that? Anyway, uh, look at the um, the auger. Good shape. All things in good shape. I said, why are you throwing that out? He's like, I just don't want to mess with it anymore. Uh, needs to change the primer bulb. It's got a key. An electric start. Full cord. Everything looks complete. Know what I mean? Uh, also, he uh, gave me this uh, MTD push mower. Deck looks like it's in good shape. Wheels are in good shape. Just has a power mower engine on it. <laughs> well, I have a uh, spare Briggs uh, Quantum that I just shove on there. You know what I mean? And make a simple push mower. Money! Also, a Yard Machines single stage, two stroke. Chute needs a little attention and uh, the handles, whatever. Needs a primer bulb, a choke assembly. Oh, you know what? This probably needs a little bit too much than I want to do, so. Looks like I need a recoil starter, too. Yep. I don't know. This is just too, this is too much work to do this, you know, so maybe I'll sell it as is or something like that. But the key, this key fits lawn tractors. That's always a bonus. Uh, and a couple of baggers. I'm not sure where this goes. I want to say a Scott's. Got the uh, Honda bagger for the two Hondas that he gave me to make one. I still haven't tackled that. I'm going to tackle that eventually. Uh, I'm going to Indianapolis for the Indianapolis 500 with my uh, brother a week after I go to Pennsylvania for the uh, World Series. So my weekends are going to be very full. Uh, but I have plenty of videos already stacked up ready for you guys to watch. So you won't miss anything. Uh, they're all scheduled to uh, air as they normally do. I've just been really busy making the videos and scheduling them so you guys will not miss uh, any episodes. Some white duct tape on the inner part with some white duct tape on the outer part will fix that. And that, and that, and that. <laughs> but it's a husker and a bagger. Bagger, better a bad bagger than no bagger at all, right? Anyway, so that's what I got. Also, he had a, a 522 snowblower, a craftsman that was sitting there. It was in really rough shape. I didn't want to mess with it. Uh, you don't get much for, for that anyway. But it's sitting there, and me and Jason talking, I felt that I needed to take what was off of it. How many times have I had a snowblower that I pick off the street that's missing the heater box, right? All the time. This is very common, five horsepower Tecumseh, right? How many times do you pick up a snowblower and it doesn't have the knob or the lever? Primer bulbs, for some reason, I haven't changed one in like a couple of years. <laughs> and also the Tecumseh gas cap, you know? Why not? Just take it. putting a little bit of uh, some wing nuts on the handle so it's easier to move around. I have to decide if I want to try to fix it later on in life, whatever, you know. Because uh, you know what's going to happen. Someday I'm going to run into one of these things and it's just going to need a, a simple part or something and I don't have it and I'm like, man, I just threw that away the other day, you know. So I'm going to keep it around for a while in the project pile and see when it's up to cue. It's like, do I feel like fixing a, a snowblower today? Ah, why not? <laughs> there you go. Handle's in the right place now. This just needs a new engine. Put the chute back on. Got some uh, wing nuts for the handles there. All you need is a recoil starter for this, and uh, then we can test it, you know? So we got uh, two more things for the project pile, thanks to Jason over at Pate's Performance.
that's pretty good, huh? From what it was, this is pretty good. <laughs> pretty stoked. Do you guys get excited about your lawn too? So it's the next day. I know, it's like a five day episode, you know what I mean? So I figured, hey, this deck is just trash, you know what I mean? I'm just gonna give it to whoever wants to buy the hauler, the working deck, telling them that it's Swiss cheese, but it's been welded. Why should I go and spend money on even $1.29 black paint, right? I've got this like acrylic polymer paint, but it's blue. <laughs> Whatever, as long as it covers it up and it's a different color, I don't care, you know? So I'm just gonna use this extra paint that I have that I was gonna throw out, you know? Might as well use it for something. Cover up the deck, at least it'll be sort of waterproof, you know? Protects it a little bit, makes it look a little better than this, you know? Got an old brush too, just gonna try it out and see. Uh, as you can see, I put a Craftsman uh, deflector on here. It doesn't fit exactly, but it does what the job is supposed to do, right? Deflect grass. And we'll see what happens. Okay, scratch that. This paint's been sitting here so long that it's like hardened on the inside. So that's that. <laughs> okay, it's back on again. Um, I, I put the cap on this one and I squeezed. And there's like a leak, which is why this is hardened. This one wasn't. It's red. <laughs> that's right. Ooh, it's thick. It's good. You want thick. A red deck. You know what? They had the, this model Murray in red too. Hey, so as you saw, uh, my new friend Mitch from Shirley or Miller Place came out to buy my uh, carcass of crap there for a hundred bucks. A uh, nice guy from Kansas. Can you believe it? He moved from Kansas to New York. What's that like? You know what I mean? <laughs> His eyes are really big now going, wow, property taxes here are ridiculous. <laughs> I was talking to the guy for like two hours. I gotta fix this deck, man.
So there you go. Hand painted with some old red paint. It doesn't look that bad. Doesn't look any good, but sure looks better than before. So we're gonna sell a Murray tractor with a red deck. Hey, I think it's gonna work. Mows and cuts and drives. Some other guy may come and buy the bagger system alone, which I'm more than happy to sell separately because it's money. Thanks a lot for following me along my five day deck restore <laughs> repair just to get it running, you know, so that I don't chuck it out. Make it useful. Make it so that you don't chuck it out and you can use it. It looks like hell, but it's going to be usable. Wait for the next episode. Thanks a lot for joining me, fellas. We'll see you guys all next time on Mowers and Blowers. Next time on, on Mowers, Mowers and Blowers. Later. Hey, if you guys enjoyed the video, remember to give me a like. Also, comment below. Subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free, right? Also, hit that little bell. That way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them. Remember to follow my Instagram and Facebook as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowers and blowers. Really appreciate all the support. Also, to keep the videos coming every day, support the channel. Bye.